this is just a, a quick, you know, crossover. You can really start to see where in the previous planning efforts, you know, there were all these things that were listed that were seen as priorities. And how long ago you can kind of see how that resonates with, um, you know, these ten principles uh, that I just found over. So, thank you. We're going to introduce uh, Michelle Allen, right here. Jail's the architect. We're just about done talking, then you all get to talk. Uh, you will see some slides that are really small on the screen, and I don't expect all of you to have to see it. But you do have handouts that are, as you've probably figured out, exactly what you're seeing on the screen. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit, bit about some of those features that Kevin talked about, some of the previous common planning themes. So we're just coming together, and we're going to be talking about two specific areas that, that really uh, that take all of those ideas and break it down into two, uh, kind of two topic areas today. One is place making. Uh, and we're going to talk about that slide now. And the second is connection. Uh, so the first slide that you're going to see is what we call our, our physical features slide. It's those place making elements within your neighborhood. Uh, we put this together based on, uh, um, I've done a lot of work in Cedar Rapids. I know your community relatively well. Uh, I do some internet research. But this is just sort of us saying, well, what are some of the key features in this neighborhood? We identified some things. We identified uh, this church as kind of a, a neighborhood uh, place-making feature, the time check part, the Matthew 25 urban farm, some other, some other things, but there are probably a lot of things missing here. Um, there are probably a lot of things that are missing here today, um, but I know that there are some of you that grew up in this neighborhood, and there may be memories that you have of this neighborhood and this place that maybe aren't here anymore. So don't just think about what's here now, but think about when you were growing up here, what made this place really special. And uh, so we want to be talking about some of those ideas. So they may not be physical features now, but as we uh, kind of break into small group discussion, we want to talk about what are those places that we'd like to see or that we remember seeing that really made us feel like home and neighborhood. Um, the second slide is kind of more of an informational slide, and it identifies those properties uh, that have been, um, uh, there's the proposed flood management area, then it could be kind of orangish, it looks orange on the wall anyway. The city acquired properties and acquisitions in process, in progress. In blue, we have the single family uh, new construction that are the roof properties um, or the, the hash uh, development. And uh, in the, the purple is the kind of purple area is the multifamily new construction. Um, and then Matthew 25 Urban Park Farm, kind of shown at the bottom there, uh, is identified kind of through information. And then we've just taken that same information and really blown it up uh, just within the viable business corridor. So I think what we'd like to do is to break into some small groups uh, and we have some questions. And again, really think about what makes your neighborhood special? What, what gives it a sense of place? What makes people want to come here? Or what should make people want to come here? Okay. Do you need to combine any papers? Do you need an easel? You go right ahead. We just didn't want to block out.
First Street. Oh, go ahead. Where are you going? I'm going right here. Well, okay. Gordon Parker. Uh, in the neighborhood. Okay, so if you get turned out, I can just park right here.